naming method binomial system it is in your nature to organize to classify and to name anything whatever you come across we want to know how living things are related to each other and to the things that once lived but are now extinct many efforts were made to devise methods of classification finally in 1758 carolus linnaeus introduced two kingdom classification system according to which all living forms were classified into two kingdoms all animals in one kingdom called kingdom animalia all plants in another kingdom plantae he also gave hierarchy of classification that spreads from the broadest to most specific it starts with kingdom goes to phylum class order family genus and ends with species species are the smallest groups a species consists of organisms of the same type who are able to breed and produce young ones kingdoms are huge groups consisting of millions of organisms of somewhat similar kinds in 1735 linnaeus also published an influential book entitled systema nature in which he outlined his scheme for classifying all known and yet to be discovered organisms according to the extent of their similarities during his lifetime he completed several editions of the systema nature six editions of another book the genera plantarum carolus linnaeus is also known as the father of taxonomy taxonomy is the branch of science that deals with classification of living organisms later on the five kingdom system of classification was given by r h whitaker according to which all living organisms are subdivided into five major kingdoms including the monera the protista the fungi the plantae and the animalia the system of naming was also given by carolus linnaeus this linnean system of classification has been widely accepted by all and till date it provides the basic framework for all activities related to taxonomy such a two words naming system is referred to as binomial nomenclature this linnean system of classification is a method of naming living organisms using two word system so it is known as binomial system of classification two categories genus and species out of hierarchy of classification are used while naming an organism a genus is a higher level category that includes one or more species under it for example linnaeus described name of modern humans as homo sapiens homo is our genus 
and sapiens is our species. In scientific name of Mies, that is, Zia Mies, Zia is genus, whereas Mies is species. In scientific name of Rice, that is Oriza sativa, Oriza is genus, whereas sativa is species. In binomial nomenclature, you learnt that the first name is the genus of the organism, the second is its species. As one genus usually have more than one species in it, so, while naming different organisms of the same genus, species changes, but the genus remains same. Understand with the help of examples. The scientific name of the white oak is Quercus alba, while red oak is Quercus robra. The word in the names is taken from its genus. And it applies to all species of oaks. Names of all type of oak starts with genus Quercus. Alba and Rubra are two different species of oak. Alba is for white oak. Rubra is for red oak. Another example you see. The name for the domestic cat is Felis catus. Felis denotes the genus, whereas catus denotes the unique species which is used for domestic cat. Other feline species, such as the jungle cat, is named as Felis cos. Wild cat as Felis sylvestris and sand cat as well as margarita. All these four cats belong to genus Felis, but each represents different species. Catus, Cos, Sylvestris and Margarita. Nomi binomial nomenclature is a formal system used in biology to name organisms. The system ensures that every known kind of organism can be distinguished from another organism. There are certain rules to write these names. First word of a scientific name. The genus name is written first. The first letter of the genus name is always capitalized. The name is always underlined or italicized. Second word of a scientific name. The species is written second. The species is always underlined or italicized. The first letter of the species name is never capitalized. The name should be in italics when printed. The name should be underlined separately while writing. So we can say that scientific or Latin names for living organisms are conventionally typed in italics and if they are written, they have to be underlined. Many Many people wonder why scientists use complicated, hard to pronounce names when speaking about familiar animals and plants. Common names such as white oak, wildcat, and dolphin are accepted when used in casual communication and serve the purpose in a particular community which already recognizes that animal with the name in its local language. But it becomes difficult as soon as that name crosses the boundary of that community. In India, 
you call a cat a scat. But if you are in Japan and call it cat, nobody would understand. However, if you were to tell a Japanese scientist, Felis Catus, he would understand what organism you are talking about. The advantages of scientific over common names are that they are accepted by speakers of all languages. The language used in the names under binomial nomenclature is, well, largely from Latin and Greek. The advantage of using this language is that the Latin words are more widely accepted to all scientists all over the world. This is why we say it is a universal system of naming living organisms. By using the same binomial name in Latin, we can ensure that all scientists, no matter where they come from, will be talking about the same organism. According to binomial nomenclature, each name applies only to one species and that each species has only one name. Panthera tigris, the name is given to tiger only. No other animal in any part of the world has been given this name. There are three international organizations for governing the application of rules of nomenclature of scientific names. One for zoology, one for botany and the third one for bacteria. These are International Code of Zoological Nomenclature International Code of Botanical Nomenclature and International Code of Nomenclature for Bacteria. Here are examples of scientific names of some common fauna and flora. Ragi Eleusine coracana Wheat Triticum estivum Lychee Lychee kinensis Guava Cedium guajava Sapota Manilkara zapota Strawberry Fragaria ananasa Honeybee Apis mellifera Lizard Hemidectylus frenitus Peacock Pavo cristatus Rabbit Lapis carpeums Kangaroo Macropus ruffus